Hi guys, welcome to JVN testing tutorials. Today manual testing day 4 theory session. In the last class what we have seen? We have seen about sequential model and one of the type of sequential model that is waterfall model. And now so the second type is V and V model. Let's see today's topic V and V model. V model or V and V model. V means verification and validation. What is V? V means verification and validation. It is a step by step procedure or a standard procedure to develop a new software. So if you want to develop a new software like example WhatsApp, Instagram, any other new software application. If you want to develop a new software application, V model is a step by step procedure or a standard procedure. Okay. Next. In order to overcome the drawbacks of waterfall model, we use V model. So, in order to overcome the drawback of waterfall model, we use V model. What are the drawbacks of waterfall model? Testing will start after the coding. Waterfall model drawback is testing will start after the coding. So, in order to overcome this, we use V model. Requirement documents and design documents are not tested in waterfall model. But in order to overcome this, we use v model cr cr means change requirement or not accepted so in order to overcome this we use v model so what is the point in order to overcome the drawbacks of waterfall model we use v model okay here we start the testing activities parallel to development activities so in waterfall model we start the testing activity after the development but in v model we start the testing activity parallel to development activities how we can start the testing how we can start the parallel to development activities let's see in the next further steps okay next what is verification verification means what in verification we will verify documentation part okay in verification we will verify documentation part like crs document brs document srs document hld document lld document so these are the documentations okay so in v model we will verify documentation part also but in what of our model we will not verify the documentation part right yes next verifying srs see here the point is there verifying srs hld lld documents against the requirement and checking whether if it is matching the requirement or not is called verification okay we will verify the srs document crs document brs document hld document lld document so all of these documents we will verify in the v model against the requirement and checking whether it's matching the requirement or not suppose client is given the requirement so we will verify the documents it's matching the requirement or not that is called verification okay so in verification part we will verify the documentation whether it's matching the requirement or not that is called verification okay it is done by testers who will do the document it is done by testers to verification to verify the documentation part okay it is done by testers before the software is developed. So who will do the document verification? Testers only will verify the documentation before the software is developed. So see here in waterfall model testing process. Okay. Testing process. Testing process or activity. Okay. Testing activity will start after the software application is developed. Okay. That is after development phase will uh, after development phase we will go for the testing in the waterfall model yes all right yes but in v model we will start testing activity parallel to development activities that is we will verify the documentation part like crs brs srs hld lld so in v model we will verify the documentation part as parallel to the development activity so that is called QA process. Verification is QA process. QA means quality assurance. So this is the verification. So in verification, what we will do? We will verify the documentation part like CRS, SRS, HLD, LLD documentation. 
whether it is matching the requirement or not okay that is called verification next what is validation let's see what is validation verifying the functionality of an application by executing test cases is called validation so what is functionality means for functionality means for what purpose we are using that software application that is called functionality i have, I have already explained in the previous classes see that classes okay functionality means for what purpose we are using that software application that is called functionality for example whatsapp application is there for what purpose we are using the whatsapp application we are using for the chatting purpose uh, if you want to send any information we will send that chatting purpose to the friends okay for voice call purpose we are using whatsapp application for video call purpose we are using the whatsapp application for status purpose we are using the whatsapp application so that is called functionality what purpose we are using the software application that is called functionality okay i have already explained in the previous classes about this functionality see that okay it is done by the testers after the software application is developed okay in verification who will do verification it is done by the testers testers will do verification but the software application uh, before the software application is developed but in validation it is done by testers once after the software application is developed okay so in uh, validation is qc process okay verification is a qa process qa means quality assurance validation is qc process qc means quality control quality check okay so in verification we will verify the documentation part like crs brs srs hld lld documents okay we will verify okay parallel to development activities okay parallel to development activities this is called verification coming to validation we will start testing after the software application is developed so in validation actual application is tested okay in verification only documentation parts will be tested but in validation actual application or actual software application will be tested so this is a difference between verification and validation next let's see what are the advantages of v model testing is started at initial stage correct right in v model parallelly we, uh, we will start the testing activities so it is one of the advantage testing is started at initial stage so it is one of the advantage of v model next requirements and designs are tested what are the requirements what is requirements what is design requirements means crs brs srs documents these are the requirement documents correct right the the client will give the requirement in the form of crs brs or srs right next what is design design documents means hld and lld documents we will test these documents in v model so it is so it is an advantage okay but in waterfall model we will not test this requirement and design documents in waterfall model testing is not it started at initial stage only in v model the testing activities is parallel to the uh, parallel to the development activities requirement and design documents are tested in v model next quality of the software application is 100% why quality of the software application is 100% because we are testing crs document srs documents hld documents lld documents the requirement documents are we are testing so that's why the quality of the software application is 100% next cr cr means change requirement can be done in waterfall model but in uh, in v model change requirement can be done in v model okay so in waterfall model we cannot go back and change the requirement but in v model we can change the requirement at any time so this is one of the advantage of v model yes so these are the advantages of v model in order to overcome the drawback of waterfall model we use v model let's see what are the drawbacks and disadvantages of v model only documentation part will be more because we are testing testing uh, we are verifying srs crs hld lld documentation so that's why the documentation part will be more in the v model next let's see the some of the abbreviations here first of all i will explain this diagram 
about this diagram okay after that uh, let's see the abbreviations first okay first uh, let explain me about this diagram this is the customer left side part is the customer right side part is the end user middle part is software is ready for testing okay this is a v model diagram v and me v, v and v means verification and validation model okay it is one of the best model in hdlc okay it is one of the best model in hdlc in this model the development and testing are done parallelly yes right correct right in this model the development and testing are done parallelly but in waterfall model after development activity only we will start testing but in v model parallelly we can start the testing activities by verifying the uh, srs brs hld lld documentation so the left side of the model is done by the developers that's right the left side of the model is done by the developers the right side of the model is done by the test engineers see here crs srs hld lld coding this coding will part uh, hld and lld design team will uh, design team will take care crs and uh, srs the ba and uh, uh, will take care okay this left side of the part will be done by the developers this right side of the part will be done by the testers testers means we are the test engineers okay so when the customer give the requirement first customer customer means client okay when client give the given the requirement in the form of crs right okay first client will give the requirement in the form of crs so the ba will review the ba will review that crs document and convert in in the form of srs okay the the ba will review first crs document and convert in the form of srs second srs right so at the same time at the same time in the v model coming to v model at the same time the test engineers also review crs document in case testers will find any defect or mistake it goes back to ba okay in case any defect or mistake testers will find it goes back to ba if there is no defect testers will write atp or atc atp atc means Act acceptance test plan or acceptance test case okay did you understand guys what uh, what i'm telling first customer customer means client client will give the requirement document in the form of crs okay the ba will review that crs document and convert into srs document so, but coming uh, while coming to the v model at the same time the test engineers also review crs document in case testers will find any defect or mistake it goes back to ba if there is no defect testers will write atp or atc here see that at at means i am shortcut here here written at at means atp or atc atp or atc means acceptance test plan or acceptance test case next next testers will review again testers will review this srs document in case testers will find any defect or mistake it goes back to ba if there is no defect testers will write stp or stc see here stp or stc means system test plan or system test test case same way testers will review this hld document in case testers will find any defect or mistake it goes back to ba if there is no defect testers will write itp or itc itp or itc means integration test plan or integration test case in the same way testers will write uh, testers will review lld document in case testers will find any defect or mistake it goes back to ba okay if there is no defect testers will write ftp or ftc ftp or ftc means functional test plan or functional test case okay next once the, uh, the documentation of development process is done with the design and coding the software is ready for testing okay once the documentation of development process is done with the design with the design means hld and ld documentation are done 
and along with coding coding means development of the software application is done so software is ready for testing okay first first testing is white box testing so it is done by the developers only okay not the test engineers only developers will do the white box testing what is white box testing what is black box testing in the coming next classes i will explain okay don't worry so first testing is white box testing it is done by the developers to test the each and every line of a program to confirm the correctness of code okay developers will test the white box uh, developers will test each and every line of a program to confirm the correctness of code so developers what are they testing they testing only code related work code related work only developers will test not the software application okay software application duty is our duty so test engineers are used to uh, test the software application in white box testing developers only test that coding level program okay so after that functional test case lld after reviewing the uh, lld document functional test case will be written after reviewing L hld document integration test case after reviewing srs document uh, system test plan will be written after reviewing crs document acceptance test plan will be written after acceptance test plan or test case uh, testing end users so it will go to the end users end users means after releasing the product to the market that is called end users okay next so let's see the abbreviations adp means acceptance test plan so first uh, whenever the client will give the requirement in the form of crs so uh, the ba will review and convert it to srs at the same time testing engineers also review crs document in case testers will find any mistake or any defect it goes back to ba if there is no defect testers will testers will write atp or adc so here is the abbreviations so ATP means acceptance test plan. ATC means acceptance test case. STP means system test plan. STC means system test case. ITP means integration test plan. ITC integration test case. FTP functional test plan. FTC functional test case. WBT white box testing. So these are the some of the abbreviations we have to use in the software language. Okay. Next when do we go for v and v model when the customers needs high quality products okay when the customer needs high high quality products okay why high quality product we are reviewing the srs document crs document hld document lld document so that's why when customer needs high quality products we will go for the v model yes guys this is the v model one of the second type of sequential model is completed in the previous class what of a model first model of the sequential model is completed now second model that is v model is completed hope you like this video please subscribe to youtube channel and share to your friends thank you